Hey folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to retract the electric handbrake on the rear caliper so that you can change the pads. So here we have the rear caliper. If we go to retract this normally using our brake rewind or push in tool, we will find that it's rock hard and we can't push the piston back. This is because the motor, which lives here, has a kind of an auger screw in it that pushes the piston out. So when it's out fully, we can't push against it unless we retract the motor. To retract the motor, you can do it electronically using a scan tool, but if you don't have that, what you can do is simply pop off the connector, which will reveal the two wires that go directly to the motor. These motors in one polarity will push out. If you reverse the polarity, they'll go back in. To apply power to the motor, we need a small 12 volt power supply, something like a small battery. What I've done here is I've got a bit of wiring and crimped two connectors on. Then at the other end of the cable, we have just a couple of millimeters stripped back and the two wires separated by about 10, 12 millimeters. I'm going to join the terminals together now with my new wires um, and get the polarity hopefully correct. If we see the piston moving out towards us, we know to switch the polarity. Be careful not to make it go out the wrong way or it could pop the piston out, which will be a bit of a mess to clean up. So now we can hear the motor retracting. It'll take about 10 seconds or so and then we'll hear it bottom out when it's fully in. There we go. So that stopped by itself. And now using our traditional tool. We will be able to retract the piston as normal. You will now be able to mount your disc and new pads back on and you'll be able to put the caliper back on its mounting bracket and tighten everything up. Before you finish though, you will need to apply power to the connector again to wind the motor back in so it tightens onto the disc fully. The motor will stop by itself generally when it has full pressure, full handbrake pressure on the disc. Then you'll just pop your connector back on and you'll be good to go.